Hey all, it is Glam Game Rebecca, and in today's video, I am, well, testing out my motorcycle that has been basically dead for two weeks. These were recorded, gosh, a while ago. These are from, um, some of the photos are from um, February in 2023. Some of the other video clips are even later than that. Um, I'll try and put some dates on the screen. But anyway, so what had happened was it was not starting and I'm like, okay, well maybe I need new spark plugs. I just had all that repair work and stuff done the middle of lot, you know, the year before and they left a gap in my engine. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'm having airflow issues. So I took the air filter off. I replaced, you know, I, I bought all new spark plugs and everything. And of course you have to make sure your spark plug gaps are perfect. So of course I had to get one of those cause I don't have any here cause I left all that shit at dad's house. And so this is what this is. Um, you'll see like the test run and then you'll see me putting everything back together after checking it all out because of the fact that, um, you know, I couldn't get it started and I had to tear a bunch of shit off of it to see what was not working. So Hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, let's see if this fish will go down the road. I didn't secure. Well, I mean, I put the seat back on, but I got stuff all hanging out everywhere. So I can't go too far with her because I got all the armor and stuff off. Yeah. The stuff that goes over the... Uh, no, you coming out in the garage? Stand on the star rug. That way she can get used to it, but she's far enough away. Make sure you tell her she's safe and that you've got her. Because that's what I kept saying. Pray this bitch works. She deserves a bath after this. All right, girl. Ooh. 
kicking all your parts, man. Well, at least I got that problem fixed. Jesus Christ, that only took me two weeks to figure out. All right. Got to put all the side panels back on, battery panels back on. Got to take the seat back off, put the battery stuff back on. Checked all the fucking hoses. Some of the hoses are deteriorated and they were supposed to fucking replace them and they didn't. Got all the panels and stuff off of this side. I got to put back on. Had the spark plugs all tore off of this bike. Everything's in the box down here or over there. Parts are tools. Got all my tools out of the toolbox. <sighs> At least it works. One last thing I got to worry about paying a fix. You help a mommy? I wonder if I should wear my harness for this, hmm? <gasps> I'm gonna get it. Lick my feet, you weirdo. Sit on it. Oh, up. 
puppy. Okay. Memories bring back, memories bring back you. That's got the wrong tip on it, that's why. Get off there. Rejected. Dog, what the hell are you doing? Yes, it's broken, but it usually works. Holes, you weirdo. Why are you licking the hose? Was it thirsty? Listen to the word I say. Always hand tighten your nuts and bolts and then bring in your tools.
<gasps> Bridget, I didn't know you were behind me, honey. You need to stop doing that. I'm not going to see you. You're too little. Mama's flower heads. Is this what you want? Okay, you can have it. I don't want your seat running off on you. If I didn't have a trunk, this wouldn't be so difficult, just FYI. And everything that fits on this bike stays on the bike. Tools that, that work on this bike stay here. So that I don't have to go hunting for them. And I've always got what I need if I break down. This is a, a 10. And then of course I have my other tools that go on the bike. And my owner's manual, and I've got one other manual that's out here somewhere. I don't know where it got put. Now to put that back on. Mm -hmm. Puppy. I think this is a smaller one. Yep. Don't take one. Mommy needs those. <laughs> Come here. Silly goose. I need to get my other cloth out to polish all those watermarks and shit off. And there's still water in the sponge here down at the bottom that was peeing all over the place. But, <sighs> gotta make sure it goes the right direction, huh? So, okay, let me explain why this is up. I was working on the bike because it's having problems missing out and stuff, so I'm just putting everything back on. So this allowed me access to this, which is my, um, I don't even know what the hell you guys did. Okay, so it allowed me access to this. That's what this rod does. That's my shifter. And my shifter assembly is here. Um, and then this is where my shaft starts. So my this is the shaft-driven bike. That's what this is. And then you've got this with an entry port here to do, like, shaft oil and stuff like that. So, of course, you got your... <sighs> and then I've got some electrical wires and stuff in here. And then this goes up to my cable so that when I pull the clutch lever, watch, watch right here. You see it move? So this control is controlled by this. So every time I hit this, 
I'm usually using this at the same time. So this is what is called a cl clutch cable. And depending on how tight this is, depends on how tight your actual clutch is up there. So um, you wanna make sure that the clutch cable isn't fraying, that it's tight enough, that you've got enough, like this one here is a little loose um, here, but it is super tight up here due to where it is in relation to this piece right here. So depending on how you tighten this depends on how tight the, the lever is when you go to pull it, which mine's a little too tight, but that's okay. So I wanted to check all of this stuff, plus some of the wires that I needed access to for my electrical stuff are right here and this nice little rubber condom thing. Um, and of course you have my starter or my, where my ignition key goes in. And the other thing that they did was they, when I had my bike work done, they were supposed to work on and replace all the wires and tubes and stuff in here. There's a couple of new tubes in here, but there's not as many as I would have expected. Some of these like up in here underneath the tank are like dry rotted and need to be replaced. This is my fuel injection system. Um, so this right here is my choke and then my fuel, uh, you know, on, off or reserve. It's on right now. So I had to check all these wires and there's only like this one here feels like it's dry rotting. So that's going to have to be replaced. And the fact that it, it feels like rough tells me that it needs, it probably needs help sooner rather than later. This hose has been replaced as well as this one here that I don't even know if you guys can see. So they were supposed to replace all my hoses, but even the hoses that are up underneath the tank have not been replaced. So I have some points of contention there. Gotta make sure I line this up right because you want this covered and this covered. All right, got it lined up down there. Gotta line it up here. Squash the wires. And this is where I gotta get on my knees so I can make sure everything is lined up with the holes. And then you thread your first screw. And that one won't thread. There we go. Ma'am! The fuck, man? Fucking puppy just ran off with a screw. No! Leave my damn screws alone. Hopefully that was loud and scary enough that she won't snitch another one. Oh, thief. Run off on my damn screws. Yes, I'm like sideways doing this, so. And you can see the water dripping from the pad. Yuck, I guess I didn't wash that well enough. Now that I've got them basically in, I can do this. Oh, this one's not working right, but these are fun because you can just cheat. Screw thief. What do you want? Get over here. Mischievous little shit. Go play somewhere else. Stop stealing mommy's tools and stuff. Just so you guys know, I hold it here for stability because I drop shit. Okay, so you don't want to tighten these too much because then you have other screws like this that are still hanging out. Oh, look, you can see me in the thing. Oh, you can't see me. Um, 
Let me see if I can figure out how to turn this damn thing around and maybe you can actually see what the fuck I'm doing. Does that work? Well, yeah, we'll see. Hand tight there. I'm going to come back to my screws at the bottom. So I put my thumb on the screw. If you look, there's a mark on my thumb. I put the thumb on my, my thumb on the screw head and then use my hand to tighten it. Plus, if, you, if you've ever been visually impaired, this also helps you figure out where the threading and stuff is. Like, if you've ever watched somebody that's blind fill a glass, you'll see that they stick their finger in the glass. Usually you can hear when it's getting full, but some people will stick their finger in a glass to see where the water level is or whatever in it. I wouldn't recommend sticking your finger in it if it's hot, but you can hear when a cup is getting full. And I do a lot of contortions to get stuff done on my bike. Like you'll see me laying on the ground, flipped over, standing on things. I've even laid on two by fours to get stuff done before. <laughs> so, And because this is plastic, you really don't want to tighten these too much because you can crack the plastic. I wish it was real metal, but it's not. That's probably very expensive to have real metal. Now we got two more plates and then we'll be done. Well, this here I'm gonna have to leave open for a minute cause I gotta put all my stuff back. I guess I can do that now. There it is. I was like, where's the other book? brought over oh those are his some stuff that I needed so I want to make sure I don't mix my stuff in with his stuff oh I already had one of those who are you three sixteenths I'll just stick your ass in here and if you've ever seen one of these these are really handy they work for a lot of different stuff. This always happens when I take shit apart. I can never put it back in right. Is this supposed to go somewhere else? Like, can I stick your ass in here or something? How about that? We'll stick some of you in here. Yes, no. 
can we fit in here? <gasps> oh, that worked. Where's the other one? Wheel. Get up. Get out of there. You won't let me have it. Yep. Maybe they wasn't supposed to go in there? I don't know. I can't remember how they came. <clears throat> I ain't mad enough to get that shit out. Got it. Thank you, teeny screwdriver. So we'll just stick two in there for right now, because those fit. Does it take Rebecca to repack a tool bag? Well, I can't close... Ah, son of a bitch. I can't close it, but everything's in there. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Get in. It won't fit. It's too fat. What are you doing, Trouble? Hi. So what I'll may, I may do is just... Screwdriver was in there, or the rest. Get your ass in there. There you go. I knew you fit in there before.
So this I know doesn't fit. So I guess we'll... Hey! Are you eating weeds? Ma'am! I'll just stick it in here. That's what I use this for anyways. It's for tools, so... Might as well stick my little tool bag in there. I work at 2 o'clock, so... Your troublemakers out here trying to eat everything. I got to clean this bitch up. And those aren't mine, so. Pizza? I gotta go to work soon. Is there a pizza left? Yeah, you can get places, could you Could you get it out for me, please? Yeah. Aw, you got a pine cone? What happened? You drop it. Go get your pine cone. Mommy's about to make some noise. As long as she works right. What the hell this is on my tank? Probably pollen. Yellow. Some tree sputted on my bike. Like rude. took me like three weeks to figure out the problem but she's running fucking pollen all over her ass I just fucking washed her all right so there you go all I did was put her shit back on I didn't record any of the time I worked on her but there you go